Jamie, it's all happened very quickly. It has. Contract signed, you know, get, get down, you know, I don't know which route you took, A303 or M4 or however you came from Somerset, and now you're here at the Oval. Tell us about it. Yeah, very quickly. Um, sort of yesterday, decided that it was just time to sort of move on from Somerset and come and join us up here. Um, obviously very thrilled to be here, um, but yeah, very excited to get going. Is it, is it strange? Is it surreal, especially given the, the current situation? Uh, not, so, not, not really. I think it's just... It was just an exciting opportunity. Um, I sort of saw it as like, I've got a good month where I can come and join with the be around the lads, um, almost meet them before next year. Um, so this is an opportunity that I can use it as, a very, as only a positive thing. I can't see it as a negative thing, That's otherwise I wouldn't be here. Um, so yes, yeah, it's obviously very, very positive to be here. You, you knew it was in the pipeline anyway. You come earlier than, than expected and of course then you've got the permanent contract which starts next year. Why sorry for you though? You know the interest is there, but why is it attractive for you? I think it's, well, in my opinion, it's the biggest club in, in England. Um, they look at the history, all the trophies they've won. Um, obviously, having the influential, influential coaches around, um, obviously going to learn a lot from that. And then I want to play for England. And my, my, my aim, aim and goal is to play for England. And obviously, the coaches around there are going to help me play for England. Um, and I think yeah, it's just a fresh start almost. Um, Moving away from Somerset, it's just yeah, it's just a fresh start, and hopefully things can happen from here. Now, are you relishing the competition for places recently? Reese Topley joining up with with Surrey, and then of course so many players who who aren't available right now because of injury. I mean, it's going to be a proper scrap, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, but I think that just improves like improves people's performance. Um, everyone sort of, if everyone's trying to get into the team, it just makes everyone sort of improve. And if that if that helps anyone, it, well, I would look at it as a positive. Like, like you're not going to play every game, but if you can keep improving your performance, then you never know how far you're going to get. How will your Red Bull form help Surrey in, in T20 Blast? Because recently, you know, decent performance against Northampton and of course the, the maiden Red Bull ton as well. Yeah. Um, so how, how do you use any of that to try and transfer to the... I think it's, it's just trying to do the basics really well. Um, obviously T20 is a different skills. You've always got your Yorkers and your slow balls in there, but I still think if you're just bashing away top of off stump, it's still hard for the batsman to hit, hit it off there. Um, Especially if I'm bowling at my top pace, it's, it's not easy for the batsman, whatever pace, it, or if it's coming down at that pace. So if I can do that, and then obviously batting as well, it's, I've sort of found a method that sort of worked and hopefully I can stick to it. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, that's presumably something you, you really want to offer, that contribution with the bat. You're not just here no, to no. offer your searing pace. That's, that's something that you feel is really a big part of your game now. Yeah, 100%. I've always seen myself as a rounder, probably at times I've batted a little bit too low and almost feel like I've got to go out and score quicker than I have to. Um, just because there's obviously not as much opportunities if you're batting at 10 or 11. Um, so yeah, I've been trying to get up the order and almost thinking like a batter. Um, and there's still times where I'm going to get it wrong because I've not quite learned everything yet. But hopefully with a bit of experience with Vic and Stewie being around, then who knows, I can push that on even higher. And a real change of scenery. I mean, playing in Taunton, Somerset, and now yeah. in South London at 25,000 capacity ground. Of course, we won't have those fans in for a little while yet, but, but how do you sort of take that on? You've played here before, but this is now your home ground. Yeah, it's, it's obviously it's a very different, um, but well, it's, it's, it's one I think is the best ground in England. Um, like The times I've played it, I've loved it. Um, the buzz that you get from playing in front of 25,000 is, is unbelievable. Um, and I've always heard the Middlesex Surrey game is always the, like, always the biggest game, and obviously it's that's happened on Saturday, and it's unlucky that we haven't got the crowd in because um, it would have been nice to witness what that was like. Um, but obviously we got I've got the next three years to look forward to that too. So, well, um, well, yeah, I'm I'm very much looking forward to a Falao's crowd here. We we were here not so long ago for the game against Essex Eagles, T20 without a crowd. It was a, a really alien experience, but at least. 2,500 Surrey members have got in for this one. Those tickets snapped up in, in yeah. 36 hours. It's a step, isn't it? It's yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's it's obviously it's very it is very bizarre playing in front of no one, um, especially T20 because obviously you get the buzz and you get the atmosphere from the crowd and that almost gets you going. Um, but like it's professional sports, so we have to we have to find a way and like you've almost got to try and create your own atmosphere. But having the 2,500 is going to help. Um, it will obviously give you something. Um, so hopefully, yeah, they can get behind us tonight. And in terms of the England picture, you mentioned that this is your great ambition. This club will, will hopefully propel you towards that in, in a very significant way. How do you assess that picture? It feels like that there are, you know, especially at test level, but also in the one-day 
and the white ball squads, there's, you know, there's, there's a lot of potential movement, but it's, it's pretty tough. So yeah. it's going to be a challenge, but you feel like this is the right springboard. Yeah, definitely. I think whatever, whenever you try and get into an England squad, it's always going to be tough. Um, like you look in and it's a very established team in both, both sort of assets um, or facets. So it's, it's going to be tricky, but I feel like this is the place that I need to, I need to be to try and achieve that, that dream. Um, and hopefully you never know if I have a couple, like, couple of good games at the end of the season and then next year, then who knows? Um, things happen quite quickly. Um, I spoke to Darren Goff and he was just like, four games, you can be in the England side if you have a good four games. That's what he did. So like, it's one of those. Um, if you do well for a period of time, then you, can, you only can, can only keep knocking and hopefully eventually it will come. We wish you the best of luck. Go well. Cheers. Thank you.